What's up everybody, D Amazing here, bringing you another review. This time is of the Storm Collectibles 112 Scale Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, basically the Mortal Kombat 1 and 2 design. So, let's get started. Immediately, I want to show off how cool they are because they can balance. That's one thing I always look for in the figure. Can it balance on one leg? How does it look running? Can it even do a running pose? How are the arms articulated? This is something that's always a big deal to me. And Storm Collectibles pretty much nailed it in this figure because... I was able to do this instantly on this figure, and it stays without issue. It hasn't fallen. It's been like this for like 20 minutes, and I, I appreciate that. I really do. So first and foremost, I'm going to start by saying this mix of soft plastic plus a uh, unique 3D sculpting design is actually beginning to grow on me because it's really nice. You know, I've involved myself with messing around with the Mezco stuff and playing around with more uh, different scales of figures, and I found myself really liking the Storm Collectible stuff. I didn't, you know, I just didn't think I would, but I did. So here's the one huge thing about this that I thought was cool is that unlike Ryu, their geese don't get in the way. They're actually a softer type of plastic. So I can actually take this down and show you that they're actually like really good design. They're really well built. There's butterfly joints that so goes back. Ooh, that's me being a little too strong. So I apologize for that. But they go in and out, back and forth. And also the ab crunch is actually pretty serious. You can go pretty far down. It didn't go pretty far back, all while still keeping this pretty much well intact. So the figure looks really good just sitting there doing anything or being hyper-articulated. It has bicep swivel. It goes all the way up. And there I go being a little too strong again. So this is actually not a bad thing. But I think I'm a little too strong for my own good. But the figure itself is actually uh, double-jointed. But if you pull it too far like I just done, it'll snap out. So it goes about this far. Just in case you can't see it. But it rotates all the way up. The gauntlets are made of a, the also the same soft material as the gi. So you don't have to worry about it breaking or ripping or anything like that. Like I said, the articulation is really, really nice. These legs are actually double jointed. So what's cool is, and I'll show you in a second, because I did it for Sub-Zero, that they can crouch down like this. <clears throat> and that's a really big thing. Like, Because of the soft material, it allows it to gain tons of range and articulation. And I'm going to do the same for Scorpion so you guys can see. The head range movement is really nice. But the fact that they can do this is actually, this is actually pretty dope. Like, you don't get to see these on many figures. So this is a really good look. He can get down in a crouching pose. He can run. The ankle pivot is actually really nice, just as well as Ryu's. It's a slightly a bit different because of the foot design. But overall, it works really well for them. So while the figure looks bulky and looks like it can't do much, it actually can do a ton. One more thing I want to point out is that they're on tiny ball joints for the head. And that this mask is actually the Mortal Kombat 2 mask design because I read the instructions. And I was trying to figure out why they give it different masks. And it's been so long since I've played Mortal Kombat that I forgot that they actually slightly changed the design between 1 and 2. So that's pretty cool to know that they actually took the extra step to do that. So you can actually swap out the mask and do the classic mask. So the nice blend of soft plastic that makes it look like it's uh, soft goods. It's actually really nice. The classic mask actually looks really good too. It just works so well for Scorpion. Overall, this figure is absolutely uh, everything I could have asked for that I didn't know I needed. And that's actually pretty nice. Um, it's quite refreshing and different. And that's something... That uh, usually I look for into an import. And the fact that I'm getting it from Storm Collectibles is really nice. One cool thing about Scorpion is that uh, you can swap it out to his other head. You know, I'm dead head. So this is where he uses the fire blast. The jaw is actually articulated. So you can do funny things with my life. But yeah, don't mind me. It also comes with two fire effects. So that way one where he scorches the floor and it actually separates. So if you wanted to do it where it was shooting at someone... You place it in the mouth, but it can't hold it up because actually this piece is pretty heavy. So you aim it downward like this, just in case you can't see it. So you would aim it downward. And then there's a smaller part that attaches to the floor. You leave there, and voila. So it'd be like that. That's actually pretty cool. I sort of wish it came with a stand or a piece that can attach to a stand, but that's also fine too. You don't have to if you don't want to. Now, does Scorpion come with his classic move? Yes. 
The get over here rope he does come with. I'm going to show you right now. You, you take the wrist joint off. You pop on this hand. You pop it back on. And don't mind the skull head being on, but you can do, come here, get over here. So, and I suck at doing the Ed Boon's voice, so don't mind me. But you can actually do it. So, it actually extends pretty far. There's a bloody tip for it. And it can rotate around the hand. So, if you want to do it over or under, it's totally up to you. I plan to do some cool stuff with it. Just in case you were wondering, it also comes with a roped version. So, you actually see from what it is. So, you can hold it in his hand. And the hand that comes with it. You can actually place it in his hand like this, make it look like he's coming for you, and walk in with it. As you can see, the hands that I have on Scorpion, he comes with a two closed fist. Make sure you guys see that, sorry. Comes with the open palm for doing come here on either hand, as you can see the other ones here. They're slightly open palmed for Kung Fu blows, or also to hold his rope when he does come here. Looks like I actually had the hand wrong. Sorry about that. There's only one hand that's actually supposed to carry the rope, and that's this one. But I was using the other hands, which actually worked just as well. So these ones, this one is supposed to be the one hand on his right hand that's supposed to be able to do it. But I was using the other hands, and it works just as well. Then there's this open Kung Fu Palm as well, and I also have that here. I don't know why I'm calling them Kung Fu Palm, but that's what I'm going to coin it as. Overall, though, I'm really excited for the figure. I didn't think that I would actually be this excited. I've seen my friends take pictures like uh, Prince Draco, Shane Bowie, uh, the real Dallas James over on Instagram. So if you've seen their work and you know this stuff looks phenomenal, and actually, it, it actually is. And I can't say that it, it's not because that would be a lie. So if you're going out and you're actively looking for the Storm Collectible stuff, I got to honestly say it is built well. It is done well. There was thought put into it, and it's a good line. So if you're on the fence about it, hopefully this has been a huge help to you. To help you decide on whether you want to buy or not buy. It's totally fine. I hope you enjoy the pictures at the end. I hope you're drinking your water. I hope you're being good. And most importantly, please keep your hearts full. Thank you for always watching my stuff. And I appreciate your support. Thanks, guys. Later.